eight thirty four through thirty six. Eight thirty four through thirty six. The eunuch asked Philip, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? Now, it would have been, sometimes the prophet did speak about himself, but oftentimes the prophet did speak about Christ or the fall of Israel in reference. I mean, usually the prophets pointed to Christ or the destruction of Israel, which it wasn't as vague about it. It mentioned territory, cities in Israel when it referenced the fall of Israel and the rebuild. So Isaiah here, but this is a common question because he don't know. He don't have it, probably haven't even heard about Jesus because Philip has to share it with him. So for him to think, okay, is it Isaiah? This would have been a question for him that he would have been he's seeking because it ain't like he's been in Jerusalem. This may have been his first trip through. He may have not been there a while. He may have not been through. He may have just called a heard of Jesus as a troublemaker most likely if he heard about him at all so I mean putting his focus on it being Jesus would have been occurring to him because he's going to the temple to worship which means he's practicing Jew so the priests still at this point are trying to do away with the Christians so for them to mention Jesus in any reference like that wouldn't have been done with so we have to understand why and that's why he don't understand who it could be. He, he knows Isaiah was a good prophet that the Lord called and prophesied great things. So for him, that's he, he's thinking it could be somebody else, but he's limited to what he knows, so he's saying, well, it could be Isaiah. Or it could be somebody he ain't aware of, which he's open to learning who it is. And when we learn stuff, we got to be open up to learn, but we got to keep Scripture as our God. If we dare ever de deviate from Scripture, then we're going to fall into a hole that we don't need to get into. So Philip began with the same Scripture and then at, used many others to tell him about Jesus. So he's doing cross-referencing uh, to tell them about Jesus, him about Jesus. Most likely he's going to more than one scripture about Jesus, what he did, what he came to do, his death and resurrection. Most likely. Doesn't he tell what he's reading? He, and he, most likely since Isaiah's scroll, he's picking all the scripture out of the Isaiah scroll. Would have make most sense too. So, so his birth probably ain't being touched here because his birth, birth ain't referenced in Isaiah. But his death, his resurrection are highly referenced in it. And his millennial kingdom is referenced in it. So this is the scriptures the eunuch's most likely probably going to. So, um, and it's important when we try to stay to the scripture they're going and build off of it. Sometimes we want to completely change the subject, but if they're trying to learn in one certain area, we use that and then bring it around to Christ. We don't want them to feel cheated out of their getting their answer, question answered. Sometimes we won't be able to do it, and we just need to tell them we, we need to focus on Christ because He died for you when we ain't able to answer it. But we should always try to attempt to answer their question, and His question directly re relates to Christ, but sometimes that question don't. And when it don't, we still try to answer it and then direct them to Christ. Because after we answer a question, they'll be more prone to listen to what we have to say as well. As they rode along, they came to a small body of water. And the eunuch said, look water, why can't I be baptized? So at this point, baptism, so he may have heard about John the Baptist. I mean, baptism wasn't a Jewish practice, but practicing clean, getting clean and there's purity wells and all this stuff to clean yourself for the temple. Philip may have explained baptism to him, but either way, nothing can prevent us from being baptized. Baptism is just the first walk to serving the Lord, and it's one we should take. 